What's up, YouTubers, Googlers, Bingers, and all others, Yahooers, all others who are watching this channel? Now, my name is Mass Magician, as you know, but I'm not wearing a mask, so I have to keep the camera off my face. Because what would be a Mass Magician without the Mass Magician? I mean, seriously, it's in the title, Mass Magician. I'm not wearing a mask, so I have to keep my face masked with a real mask. You see, that's how masks work. Okay, now, moving on the real subject, I'm here to start the new year with a new traffic light I made to start out the new year. It counts out three, two, one. Psych. Okay, now, recently, December 5th, when I, my movie it said it was November 5th, it was actually December 5th, I made a traffic light that only had one light, and it switched from red to green. Mediocre, okay? I tried to make a new one, and this time I made it with reflectors. Better than mediocre. There's a white reflector, yellow or amber reflector, and red reflector. Now, um, I try to make it as best as possible as the ones you see on regular t uh, I said TV, regular uh, life. Now, usually um, on regular based intersection lights, you see a green, a white LED which has, has uh, green lights in it. And I know you're always wondering what, why is it like that, that um, when you see the green light and, it, and when the lights are off, it's always um, white. Then when the lights come on, it's always green. Uh, I think I found out. Maybe there's some sort of colored film inside of it, and you're only seeing the um, LED lights. It's something like that. But I found out that the reflector lights are simpler. Um, now, the, uh, usually in PA, they have the amber lights in it, but usually in Delaware and Wilmington, you don't see a lot of um, LEDs that have the amber light in the middle. They're usually just green and red LEDs with uh, incandescent LED... Or, with an incandescent amber light in the middle. Uh, now I made one with green, amber, and red LED all the same. And what makes it so special? This thing. This is a big bright LED light. As you can see, it's very bright. If it stays on, it will blind your life forever. Do not try this at home until I am finished this movie because this contains valuable information you should always know. When you are working on the project, don't put the light on. Take the batteries out while you're working on the project because it will hurt your eyes. If you get it stuck in there and you can't get it out and you accidentally press the button on, it will hurt your eyes. Because it did mine. Uh, it did. It didn't burn their eyes or it didn't make me blind, but it just burned my eye. <laughs> It, well, not literally burn it, but it just hurt. It, it's like staring into the sun from a far away distance. So, keep caution. Uh, might need to wear sunglasses if you're working on this project. I did later in the project, but not really. Okay, first thing you need is foam. I don't know if I just said this or not, but I'm going to say it again. The things you will need for this project are three reflectors in the color stated. Amber or yellow or orange. Red and white. If you find a green one, that's fine. No blue, because then you'll have to take the amber and yellow light with the blue light and make a green light, which won't work because it's going to waste your time. Uh, now, I bought my reflectors at Lowe's. It's the Lowe's. Uh, any Lowe's you go to, it'll work. Uh, they have some at Home Depot cheaper than Lowe's, I found out. But, um, you can find these at um, the dollar store for a dollar. I got mine at uh, the Rite Aid. It was a lot expensive. It was $4.83 at Rite Aid, where I could have got the same thing at the dollar store. Just a little cheaper, though, $4. Um, so, remember, when you're making a traffic light project, you don't need to make it five-star, okay? You just need to make it so that way it lights up. You don't need to make it five-star, because it's not like some... Uh, not like some construction dude is going to knock on your door and say, hey, we want your traffic light to be up there on the poles. It's not going to happen. It's just going to be for show, for decoration or something. You know, it's not going to be the best traffic light out there. I definitely know that. But, um, you got your white, amber, and your red. That's basically it. All you got to do is the first thing you got to do is take your first piece of um, felt, construction paper, and whatever else. And then just make the base. Make the three holes, and that's it. 
Next step you gotta do is put the lights in. The incon the, uh, the, the the reflectors, okay? The reflectors. <laughs> then just put them in. Um, sometimes what I think I, I would do is if I don't want to use up my LED thing, so what I would do was um, use the holes I cut to make it to put it over top of there. That way only the, the light showed, displayed, is going to be displayed and not just that. Uh, all the others. So, but if you want to, like if you're that dude that always buys AAA batteries all the time or do that, then just... <laughs> waste away but um now once you do that take your second piece of felt and make the caps then you take your uh, and, and the piece of that that holds it or whatever you want to do with it um, I put a rubber band on there because I made a mechanism out of construction paper to hold it basically like that then this piece goes on through a ring thing that holds it like that so it's pretty cool um, the, the third thing you got to do is take the third piece of construction paper you have and make the bottom, the, the back, the back area, the flat top head area. That's, that way it'll be more like a sleeve sock where you can just slide the LED through. Or, if you want to buy separate LEDs, if you're that technician that has like a 9 volt battery on hand or something, feel free to. Because that way it saves you a lot more money than buying all these LEDs and all this other stuff. So easy project you can make with your kids you can even do this at a very um, young age it's, it's very easy very simple I, I did one with my cousin actually uh, about maybe uh, maybe two months ago the same thing he has one I have one yeah so basically that's pretty much it now let me show you how it works so that way you can get the aspect of how it works so, um, basically, I really got to back this camera up, because it's going to get right in this, uh, sucker. <laughs> now, right here you have your LED, ba er, it looks like an LED, and it's really not on at all. It's not on. So, if you think it's bright now, look how bright it's going to get. This is the red light. Uh, it's very simple, very easy to make. Um, just run the thing down. And I'm going to run it down, push it all the way down so you can get to the yellow light. Um, take some force if you made it really tight to hold it in there. Uh, that's the yellow. Then finally the white, which turns green because I put a green piece of construction paper in there. You really can't see it in depth, but, you know. I actually took this light down because um, I wanted to show you guys. But um, I'm going to make a light show soon to show all of the uh, construction paper lights I've made and all of these lights I made but first I'm signing off ha uh, comment uh, comment <laughs> comment below if you have any questions and subscribe if you like the video that's it